what's up y'all now uh i got this still pulled up now if you got this still if you're following me that's awesome hopefully you guys are um hopefully i didn't do anything too crazy <clears throat> but um <coughs> i'm gonna get into the playlist or the piano roll now let's leave this right now how it is and pull up something we like actually before i do that i want to add one pattern into the hi-hat I want to um, clone this. Let's, let's um, go to the hi hat pattern and hit clone. Now it'll automatically pull it up. Let's recolor it though. Um, random color that works. Um, close to green, of course. Anyways, let's um, go into here and let's hit each fill each four steps. And now we got that. We got that, but it's not in the playlist. I'm gonna throw it in in the verse right on the first verse so right where the first verse begins I'm gonna delete these um, all the way until the eight just eight of them and fill in eight of the hi-hat number twos just so we have that difference and that'll be it you know hopefully I'm not doing too complex of anything <coughs> so <clears throat> now, um, let's see how that sounds real quick. We need to get rid of these. Now, here's something we really need to do before we get into the piano roll, because we're about to add a bunch of stuff, and we should have been doing this anyways. Um, let's make this sound better. Um, to our ear. So let's go into our sounds and the hi hat, the closed hi hat needs it. It needs to be shifted. It needs to be off the grid. And what that does is when you turn your metronome on, it um shifts it off the grid. Let me show you how that works. So let me just do this. Okay, hold on, give me one second. Okay, now we're just demonstrating it, how, you, how shift works. So you can hear it right on the grid. Now shift is shifting it off that grid. So you can hear how it's way off now. Okay, so that's what that does, it shifts it forward. And uh, so we're not gonna we're gonna delete that and fill back in the hi hats. I was just demonstrating. So fill back if you don't don't do that. Just uh, that was just demonstration. So anyways, um, turn that off, and let's shift our hi hats. All right. Um, now what this is right here is a solo. And we're soloing the track. So and to do that you right click it. So make sure you're right clicking it to solo. When you left click it, it takes that one out. Now, we have a highlighted one over here. I don't know why. So. Sounds better. Let's do the same thing to the kicks. And the snare. As well as the crash. You know, just a little bit for everything to make it better. This clav can be... Um, same thing. Same thing. Hopefully I didn't do that too quick. So that's better. Now let's add something in here. Let's go to GMS, which is easy to use. And my MIDI keyboard is not plugged in, but we can do this on a regular keyboard. So let's hit bases, leads, and synths. Uh, that's what I'm going to go to. And I'm going to use the comma is C5. So when I press it, it goes to C5. Now some, we're on something, I'm not sure, that one. I'm going to click something else. I'm going to play it. So we have like, I'm playing on my actual keyboard, like my typing keyboard. So um, I'm hitting the comma button. Let's just, I'm just making something. 
That sounds decent to this. So let's keep looking. Alright, sorry I'm taking so long. I'm just trying to find something that's decent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's not too many good sounds on here, to be honest. But there are some decent ones, though. I like the basses. So these are just like presets. I'm still going through them because I just haven't found a good one yet. I'm sorry. I know this is just the beginners and I'm not looking for anything too crazy, but it's still I still want it to sound decent. Alright, let's see what we can do with that one. And I'm just going to use the presets. I'm not going to go in here and change anything. Let's see with the octave. This is the octave, which makes it eight notes lower. This one is eight notes lower. And then... That one's even lower, so. Um, let's just see what we can do. I'm just going to set it to zero and go in the piano roll. So let's put GMS in our piano roll. So now let's make sure we're off that pattern. Let's go to pattern seven, blank pattern. And let's fill that into our playlist all the way to the first chorus. I'm sorry, don't do that. My bad. Stretch it out until the first chorus. That way, we have a lot of room to work with. So let's play it. Let's go to piano roll again. And let's see what we want. Now before we do anything, let's go over the piano roll. So <clears throat> here we go again for this. And this is important here, there's different menus. Now here's your snap to grid again. Same thing with that, bar beat, none. Which is important in here because you're gonna be editing a lot of these notes everywhere. So, um, you know, that's just a heads up. Now here's the pen, the pen uh, the pencil or whatever, and then here's the um, you know, the paintbrush, and then here's a uh, paint and drum sequencer, the sequencer mode. That's different because you can kind of go like that, and it's according to your snap to grid. So that's how that works. Now your delete, same thing. I use the left or the right click. Here's your slice tool, same thing. Slices, cuts it in half. The thing about here though is that it cuts the shorter end. Actually, I think it's for everything. It cuts whatever end shorter. Um, and it highlights it so you can delete it faster. And if it's in the middle, I'm not sure which one it does. So you'd have to kind of test that one out. So anyways, um, highlighter, all that. So that's the same thing really. And I don't use those anywhere. So now this is cool right here. Or one of these is cool. I want to show you something here. Now this is cool. Um, let me demonstrate a couple things from this menu now. Let me put in a few notes. Um, a, C, E. This is A minor, I believe. So let's strum it. Now there's um, arpeggiate, strum, all that, all that good stuff. And it's fun to just play with it. So let's hit strum. And that's what that does. So 
that's what that does. And um, so let's go uh, further. Let's go here. Now, this is pretty much all that other stuff. Time marker, zoom, this and that. I don't use too much in here. But, I mean, you can if you want to. Now, this is cool right here. Um, these are the scales. And what scales are are a set of notes that sound good to your ear. Now, these are all different scales. So, they're all different according to certain scales. Like, um, here's a good example. The Arabic, Arabic, whatever, how you want to pronounce it. Scale. If we click it, it gives us this, which looks insane. So that's their scale. You can use those notes. Now let's hit the ma let's hit minor the minor seventh. Now we get a minor seventh, which goes right over A C E, and it adds the seventh, uh, um, which is G. And we could do that too. And we'd have the same thing. Now we could even strum that, and we'd be strumming the major or the minor seventh. And we can even go as far farther to add a ninth, but whatever, we don't have to. So let's just hit X. Um, delete that. Now, that's pretty much all that. And you can discover new things, all that. And we can go from here all the way down to here. You might not hear it. It's not too low. All the way up to here. So, let's, let's stick around here. And let's let's build this out now. Now I honestly like the strumming. Let's let's strum it and just get used to it. Like let's just hear the strumming and build our song with that. Why not? Um, let's add the ninth, which would be I believe B. Um let's see, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So I believe that's right. Let's um strum that. So hopefully this isn't getting too complicated. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's just delete this. Um and make it easier. Let's not do anything crazy. So let's fill this in. Okay, sorry for skipping around a little bit right there, but... Alright, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to even do anything crazy, so... Um, there's our pattern. Now let's see. Now let's clone that. Um, down. Wait, I did something here. No, okay, let's, that's fine. So you see what I'm saying, how you can just kind of plug in your own pattern and do whatever you want. So, um, you know, that's pretty cool, but I'm going to delete that. I just don't like it. Um, I hate to kind of drag on this beginner's basics tutorial of everything, but... You know, we're doing basic stuff, and we're still kind of experimenting anyways. And this is what happens with beginners. And, um, you know, I'm not stating that I am or whatever. But um, it's always good to, like, kind of, you know, get the feel first and go again. Or, you know, do whatever you feel. Um, I'm going to redo that, though. I just don't like it, so.
Alright, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm like in between. This note's like in between these two. So if you're on half beat mode, that's what that is. Okay. And I'm zooming out with control flywheel. Now let's clone that all the way through for eight bars all the way down. So until the eight, nine or whatever, um, right before the nine, not into the nine. Now, um, let's change something about this fourth one. Um, so I know it looks kind of complex now, but if we just focus in on right here, this is what it was. Bump, 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 bump. So you know what I'm saying? Um, all right. So All right, um, let's change this. Let's just leave it like that. So um, I'm just gonna leave this open for a second. So if anyone needs to catch up for a second, I don't know um, to do it. So let's play this again. Now, why not copy? Let's just copy it all the way through. Keep copying it through until we get to the end. Um, I think I have one pattern off. Sorry. Hmm. Let's see here. Whoops. Whoops. My bad. Okay, let's fill this in and make sure it hits on the eight. It does, so we're good there. So, you know, um, we'll see what's going on here in the end. So, fill these in. And it meets. So, we just had something wrong there. So, um, if you got to go back and redo it, so go ahead. Okay, now. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add a bass now, and then um, from GMS let's add another GMS, okay, and go to bases and let's play bass. So, um, let's use that and turn it into pattern eight. Let's go to pattern eight. Now, um, again, hopefully I'm not losing anybody. So, you know, just stick with it, you know, and let's just keep it going. So hopefully this is helping someone out there. Now let's, um, fill each, or not fill anything. Let's go to piano roll. Sorry. Okay. Um, now what we should do first is, um, plug in our pattern let's pull it in if you need to zoom in zoom in pull it for about eight bars again as long as the other one and let's go back into the piano roll right click the sound piano roll that's what i like to do or you could just click piano roll easy either easy either way it's easier okay so now let's go to a lower octave Now 
I'm going to do this according to ear. And I'm going to turn up the velocity. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Clone it through. Alright, so that's all we're, all we're going to do for the bass, really. That's all I'm going to do. Now, let's clone that all the way through. Um, if you have a paintbrush, just select your paintbrush, it's faster. And um, make sure you're on bar mode and just paste it. Click on your first one right here and paste it through. And delete the last one. Now, um, let's play this. Now, I think we got all of our sounds pretty much. Let's start deleting stuff and call that the playlist once we arrange it. Then we'll go into, or I mean call that the piano once we arrange it. Then we'll go into the mixer and mix it. And um, we'll call it after that. And then we'll do a couple other beginner things with this um, same track. So um, after that, we'll be done. And you'll have your first track. And you can you don't have to follow the step by step. You can create your own stuff to the same techniques that we're using in the beginners or the basics. So let's just keep going. And delete some stuff. Let's delete some stuff. Let's delete some of the intro. Like, we don't need all this four bar stuff. Or a hi-hat. And we don't need the bass. So that should be alright. Now let's delete some. Now remember the chorus needs to be the same thing as this chorus. They all need to be the same. Because that's our like go to. We'll be familiar with that part. Let's just leave it the same. Let's take off some of the clavs for that. Let's leave one every where we want it. Let's see. So I'm just going to leave it something like that. And now we're in the verse. We're separating right here. So I'm going to delete every other two and um, throughout the whole verse. And leave it like that. And, um, you know, um, that should be okay. Now let's play this. Let's play it from the beginning. Again, this is nothing really complex. some more stuff let's delete some of these um, drums in the verse too if I'm doing too much here um you know just pause the video and just do it slowly because you know we're just kind of arranging it and you don't have to do it this specific either how I'm doing it you can leave it exactly how it is it was fine so I'm just taking out some stuff that I like according to my ear so let's do a couple more things let's take out um some of these uh, open hats everywhere. Let's put them in only every other, um, for the course. And then let's take them out of the verse, or half the, 
half the verse. Same thing for this chorus. And we can do have this verse too. Same thing for these two choruses. Okay. Let's take out some of these hi hats for the outro and the bass. Pull it in. Let's take out some of this melody for somewhere around here. Maybe. The ending of, let's see, wherever you want. There's just too much melody. We want to have a pause. So let's do it right before the chorus, like in the end of the verse right here. Four bars. Okay, and let's do it before this chorus too. Four bars. And then that should be okay. Let's just real quick. hi-hats uh the four the f uh that way you know we can kind of have a better like another change up it sounds it's i think it sounds better like that when we have a change up um so let's do that okay hold on pretty much it let's just leave it at that and leave our song let's just leave it you know um you can keep going in and out and messing with it more and more we can do more and more to this but that's not what this is for so um you know let's keep uh going i don't know why this is there like that it's weird um right here that's weird anyways what we want to do next mix it so i think we're done in this here uh we need to get into the mixer and start doing that so thank you for watching this is the piano roll so we did a couple things here right here um we didn't color them or anything but we will sooner or later but um let's
let's solo those. Just these two. And see if they sound okay together. some of these stupid um you know open hi-hats i'm just gonna kind of randomly do it so take them out of the verse somewhere i'm gonna take some of these out around here uh, just because i don't want them same thing That's cool. So, that's better. Let's leave it and not mess with it anymore. So, hopefully that wasn't too crazy for you. Alright, so... Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to call it. Um, let's move on to the mixer and the browser, you know, and kind of get down with that. So thank you for watching. This is T-Beats. Um, peace out. Let's move to the next one.